Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Code Karen. Welcome to r slash Am I the A-Hole, where we have two incredible stories with comments. If you're new to this channel, a sub would be great. Let's jump to the stories. Our first story is, Am I the A-Hole? I'm done with my sister shamelessly flirting with my husband and kicked her out. Some backstory. I, 27 female, have a little sister named Emily, 20. My husband and I have been together since we met in college. Back when we were dating, Emily, who was about 13 or 14 at the time, seemed to have a little crush on my husband, then boyfriend. She would blush in his presence, stutter while talking to him. We thought it was cute. We just assumed that this crush would go away as she grew older. My husband thinks of Emily as a little sister he never had and treats her as such. We've had little contact with Emily the past few years because we live miles away in a different state and she's been busy with her schooling. Fast forward to today. Last week, Emily came with my parents to visit us for my birthday weekend. From the moment Emily arrived, she did not stop flirting with my husband. From excessively complimenting everything he did to directly stating that they would make a great pair, etc. My husband became very uncomfortable and so did my parents. I don't know how we got through dinner without a major blow up. After the evening was over, my husband asked me if there was something wrong with Emily and why she was behaving like that. He said she made him very uncomfortable and asked that I have a talk with her. So, I got her alone and told her that I could understand if she has a crush on my husband, but it's never okay to make anyone uncomfortable. I told her to knock it off and keep her distance from my husband for the remaining two days they were here since he was not okay with this behavior. She snapped back and said she wasn't being flirty or improper. I told her that she was indeed being inappropriate and it was very creepy that she would try to flirt with my husband. She got very defensive and said that I was being insecure and I quote, If I was really flirting with him, you wouldn't stand a chance. I lost it at this point and told her that she is no longer welcome in my home and should leave first thing in the morning. Find somewhere else to stay. Emily and my parents decided to leave the very next day, but before they left, I had a talk with my dad. He agreed that Emily's behavior throughout the visit was very inappropriate and she should apologize to my husband. My mom denies that this overt flirting happened. We are the ones that are delusional and it was not right to ask everyone to leave given that they traveled so far to see us. Note, I did not ask my parents to leave, just my sister. Am I the a-hole for kicking out my sister and parents because of my sister's behavior? Could I have handled this better? L. Simpson Jazz Girl says, Yikes. First of all, you are definitely not the a-hole. I think your mom spoils your little sister and her little baby can't do anything wrong in her eyes. Straight up, your mom seems to be the only delusional one here. Well, her and Emily. For what it's worth, it seems like Emily is mistaking your husband's politeness and kindness as a sign that he is romantically interested in her. That delusion is boosting her ego so much that she is openly flirting with him right in front of you. I think Emily would benefit from seeing a therapist. 20 years old is young, but still old enough to be able to differentiate between flirting and sexual harassment. Maybe she's lonely and has some self-esteem issues underneath it all? Also, why would anyone want to hook up with their sister's spouse? That is next level desperation and gross. OK Size 8987 says, not the a-hole, better to kick her out. I've heard horror stories where the husband cheats on his wife with a younger sister. You want to avoid that. Back when she was a teenager, it may have been cute, but she is 20 years old now. It's totally inappropriate and boundaries like that shouldn't be crossed. So disrespectful. Your mom is being weird. I bet she is aware of her daughter's behavior, but doesn't want to admit that one of her daughters is flirting with her other daughter's husband. My face says it's sugar says, not the a-hole, because it's never wrong to ask someone to leave if they're refusing to stop making advances towards your husband. I kind of wonder though, how far did your family have to travel and why did the whole family have to leave? If your parents traveled a long way, you could have pulled them in on the conversation and said, look, you're in my house and my sister's behavior needs to stop, and if it continues, I'll have to ask everyone to leave. I'm sure your dad would back you up. It sounds like your sister is still very immature and your parents could have tried to keep her under control. You were always in the right asking someone to leave for making someone you love feel uncomfortable. Grand Mackerel TNK says, 
Your husband was uncomfortable, and your mom should have realized your sister was out of line. Your dad witnessed this, but your mom is protecting your sister. When your sister said that your husband and her would make a great pair. Yikes, that is definitely big time flirting. I guess her shyness and blushing went away, huh? Jeez, I hope she doesn't make a habit of flirting with married men, because that could get her into a lot of trouble. You were right to ask for an apology, and she should have apologized. She doesn't need your mom to explain this to her. Maybe after your mom has had some time to talk with your dad and calm down, she will see that your sister was in the wrong. I think the next move should be from your mom and your sister. You were absolutely not the a-hole. Ellie Love says, not the a-hole. Let's say for a moment that what your sister was doing truly wasn't flirting. Just for a moment, let's believe it. She still made him uncomfortable. If my fiance places his hand somewhere that makes me uncomfortable, I speak up and he stops. Not because he thinks what he was doing was in any way wrong, but because I expressed his comfort, and that's enough for him to respect my comfort boundary. Furthermore, when your sister was confronted, she got defensive and doubled down by claiming that your husband would cheat on you with her, given the opportunity. I don't care if she was even trying to make a joke. I would toss her out of my home. Sister, aunt, best friend of 10 years, I don't care. Tell your mom that three people, you, your husband, and her husband, all agree that this behavior is inappropriate and she needs to get a grip. You didn't kick her out, you kicked your sister out because of her indecent flirting. Your mom and dad are adults, and they could have intervened so that no one had to leave. But please, they should not ignore or condone their daughter's behavior. Jeez. Best of luck to you and your husband. Joker Cat says, Not the a-hole, but Emily and your mom are. You did the right thing. She was making everyone uncomfortable, and when told to stop, she doubled down. She faced the consequences of her actions, something she is probably unfamiliar with. Don't let her back into your home until she apologizes sincerely and properly. And don't invite your mom back until she stops enabling your sister's crappy behavior and apologizes to you for calling you an a-hole. It's not okay and never will be okay. Your sister is 20 years old. It's time for her to grow up, understand and respect your boundaries and your marriage, or live with the consequences of her actions. Your mom needs to wake up and treat her children equally and speak out about this predatory behavior towards any family member. She is enabling your sister by basically saying that her baby girl can do no wrong. Suggest that your dad have a serious talk with your sister and your mom, but be clear you will not be initiating contact until you receive some apologies. Your mom has a great opportunity to heal this family or lose you and your husband forever. Our second story. Am I the a-hole for being upset with my brother's wife after she deliberately upstaged my daughter's birthday party to announce her pregnancy? Hi, I'm a 37-year-old mom. First off, let me start by saying that just over a year ago, my 13-year-old daughter Maya was suffering from pediatric cancer, and it was incredibly hard on our entire family. We've been through some pretty awful days. I was exhausted and I had zero strength. It was just my husband and I handling everything. My parents were dealing with their own health issues, and my brother and his wife only visited us a couple of times. My brother's wife made hurtful comments about Maya's health while she was struggling and made her cry. Because of the insensitivity and lack of compassion, we kept our distance from my brother and his wife and focused solely on Maya's recovery. It was a struggle, but Maya is now in good health and I'm so thankful for that. Last year, unfortunately, we didn't get to properly celebrate her birthday, so this year, her grandparents said they wanted to celebrate her birthday at their house. I agreed. Maya has a wonderful relationship with her grandparents and was looking forward to celebrating her birthday with them. My mom invited other family members that included my brother and his wife. Things were going great. Family members showed up with gifts and Maya's favorite sweets and took a lot of pictures. However, once Maya started opening her gifts, my brother asked to make an announcement. I see my sister-in-law standing up in the middle of the room. By the look on his wife's face, it seemed like this reveal was pre-planned. My sister-in-law announced that she and my brother were expecting, and everyone started congratulating her and hugging my brother. I was standing next to Maya, and I felt so bad for her. My sister-in-law stole my daughter's birthday joy so she could announce her pregnancy, even though she could have picked any other day to do so. All the focus shifted from my sweet daughter to my sister-in-law. Maya seemed upset, 
and she stopped opening gifts because everyone else was focused and fawning over my sister-in-law. We left early, and once I got home, I called my sister-in-law and asked her why she thought it was okay for her to ruin my daughter's birthday and crush her spirit after having been through so much this past year. This party was everything to my daughter. I basically lashed out at her and told her she could have picked another day to make the announcement. But she used the excuse that the whole family was there, so I couldn't miss this chance nonsense. Maya stayed in her room after the party, and she even refused to look at the pictures we took. I got into an argument with my brother, who told me I shouldn't argue with his pregnant wife and scold her like that. He said she didn't do anything directly to me, so I need to apologize to her for being mean and rude, but I refused and turned my phone off. Am I the a-hole for being upset that my sister-in-law deliberately upstaged my daughter at her birthday party so all the attention would be directed at her? Redoubtable South says, Not the a-hole. You never steal another person's moment to make your own announcement. Ever. I don't care if it's the only time in the next decade everyone will be together. You don't steal someone else's moment. And especially not for a child who had a very rough year and was likely terrified that she wouldn't even see another birthday. All everyone wanted was a celebration and a little normalcy. Your brother and sister-in-law deserve to be raked over the coals a few more times. Can the rest of society agree that the appropriate response to this sort of behavior would have been, that's nice, but not now, and go back to celebrating the birthday girl? Ayla says, not the a-hole. Your daughter has been through a lot. This party probably meant a lot more to her than most kids' birthdays, and your brother and his wife sound like complete a-holes. The whole family gathered specifically to celebrate your daughter, and the day should have been all about her. If your sister-in-law wanted a grand reveal, she could have invited the entire family next week to her house instead of stealing your daughter's special day. It's like announcing your engagement at someone else's wedding. It's only fine if the bride and groom are okay with it, but tacky and rude if they don't know it's coming. Boogie Butt says, When we found out I was pregnant, we made the announcement at a birthday party. The party was for my brother-in-law and my husband's grandma. I asked my brother-in-law and mother-in-law if it would be appropriate to give a gift to my husband's grandma. We wanted to surprise her with the news that she would be a bisabuela. That's a great grandma. They're Cuban. They both said it was a great idea. At the party, we made the announcement, and then my husband's cousin also announced their pregnancy. We both did it with full permission from the hosts. This is seen as normal in my husband's family because he has a huge and close family. However, not every family dynamic is like this, so it's even more important to get permission to share the spotlight. Not the a-hole. Nicole L. says, Not the a-hole. And tell your daughter happy birthday from all of us. She's been through a really hard time. You all have. It sounds like you raised a strong young lady. She's gone through something that most adults might never go through. My uncle died of cancer before all these new medical therapies were available. It was pretty much a guaranteed death sentence back then. I'm glad advances have been made that allow children like Maya to conquer cancer. I'm glad Maya made it successfully through treatment, and I hope she stays cancer-free for the rest of her life. I'm so sorry Maya's day was ruined. That's a crappy thing to do to a 13-year-old. But tell her that now she has people from all over the world who know it's her birthday, and we are celebrating her accomplishments with her. Hey, Code Karen community, what would you do in these situations? Comment below.